Hello everyone. Today I want to share a recent experience I had when I purchased this Beretta 21A Bobcat Ghostbuster. Uh, I ordered it through my local uh, gun store. They had it uh, delivered and when I picked it up there were some uh, minor imperfections with it but I accepted the uh, pistol anyway and I'll explain in a little later as to why. So this carries a MSRP of $649 and you can see what you get in the box here, the manual, the lock, uh, and of course the pistol. The pistol itself is actually quite beautiful. It's what they call their Ghostbuster model and with this if you look on their website it actually doesn't come with these grips it actually is supposed to come with a set of flat um, thinner style aluminum grips these are aluminum but they have more of a white look to them where I was expecting something more along the lines of what you see here I was kinda of trying to copy this Beretta 92 FS ghost that I have and well, it's it's looks pretty close uh, it's it, it's not quite what I was expecting but it's still a fine looking pistol now when I first got this, this is brand new, hasn't been fired, it's not loaded, and I haven't taken this to the range yet, but the first thing that I noticed when I did pick it up at the local gun store is that when you tilt the barrel, you could see here how it's got uh, quite a few marks in it. Now the Cerakote finish, I know they, they tend to wear off, but uh, this is not what you would really expect you know, coming right out of the factory. In this type of condition you would think that someone might have noticed it and picked it up but you know the the bigger uh, issue was more what you see here on this end how you the Cerakote markings are kind of chipped off all of there now some of you are saying well you could have just rejected the gun or had them order you another one yeah I could have but when I purchased this it was at the end of the year and Beretta was running a special where um, there was a rebate program so I had three options I could either ask for a refund and gotten it I could have had the um, my local gun store order me a new one which would take a couple weeks but then I wouldn't be able to get the um, the warrant to take advantage of the warranty or I could just accept it and uh, contact Beretta myself and that's what I did I chose option three with the expectation or the hope that they would you know address this and and correct it well uh, I sent it out to them and mind you, I'm going to keep repeating that this has a MSRP of $649. So this is not like, you know, a $150 Taurus or maybe this Walter PPKS that, uh, you know, is $269. Or even this full-size Beretta APX. Uh, with uh, with an MSRP of $399. No, this this has a price tag of $649. I didn't pay that. I paid less than that, of course, but uh, but that's still what the what the MSRP is on it. So I did send this out to Beretta for uh, for them to uh, you know take a look at it, evaluate it. You know, hopefully they could tell me uh, they would tell me yeah, we'll we'll take care of it, no problem. Sent it out to them. It was uh, delivered. Uh, tracking says it was there checked their website their website said that uh, they're awaiting shipment okay so I could wait it probably never got logged in a uh, couple days go by still says awaiting shipment so after eight days and it still said awaiting shipment on their web page I reached out to them uh, and when I spoke to the customer service rep he told me the same thing yeah they were awaiting shipment I told them they got it eight days ago I got the tracking number to prove it he checked the tracking saw that it was received saw that it was signed put me on hold uh, came back and said, "You're right. We do have it. Uh, we do have it here. We'll uh, we'll certainly take care of it." So, not a problem. Uh, I asked him what kind of time frame we might be looking at, and he said uh, they're really backed up. Uh, the holidays is a real busy time for them. Shot show is a busy time for them. So, you know, realistically, I'm looking at about six weeks. Could be a little longer. Could be a little less. But a realistic number is about six weeks. Okay, not the uh, answer I was hoping to hear, but it is what it is. So. I, uh, a week goes by, less than a week goes by, 
uh, I'm checking my rebate status on this. So while I was uh, after I checked my rebate, I just wanted to see if they had a chance to uh, you know update anything because within a few minutes after speaking to the customer service rep, he did update the site and said that it was received and it was uh, pending like. I forget exactly what their verbiage was, was like pending service or pending evaluation, something along those lines. Uh, but then when I went on there to see if uh, that's still the case, it said that actually my case was closed. So to my surprise, I then uh, checked the tracking number that was on there, and the tracking number said that it shipped the day before, and I was expecting it the following day. So this was on February 1st that I checked, they said that, uh, that it was shipped on the 31st of January and I was to receive it February 2nd. Mind you, I talked to the service rep on Friday the 26th. So, to my surprise, Friday they entered it into the system. And by Tuesday, I guess they were done. And Wednesday it was being shipped out to me, expecting to receive it on Friday. Uh, I had no idea what was going on because the notes didn't really say anything in there other than my notes. So I contacted customer service again. They told me that uh, the gun has been evaluated, um, uh, everything is functioning properly now, that the, there was something with the slide that was misaligned, but as far as the, the finish, that is not covered under warranty because it could have happened at any time, I could have done it, um, so forth and so on. Not thrilled about it, but you know I was willing to accept that. Uh, the fact that uh, they found other issues with it they were able to correct was, uh, was more important to me. So. I waited for the uh, pistol to arrive, and it did arrive. It arrived, it arrived that uh, Friday morning. And the box came. It was in a medium-sized box. I opened up the medium-sized box, and inside was the box that I actually shipped it in, which is right here. Now, what caught me by surprise was that when I went to open the box, this tape, this seal, was my tape seal. This was still, I mean, now it's cut because I cut it open, but this box was never opened by Beretta. They never opened it. They never evaluated it. What they told me that they did was all untrue. They, ne they never, I mean, I, you could see how I kind of fold the corners here. So I knew that this was my tape job. There's no extra layer of tape. It's the two layers of tape that I put on when I initially sealed this. So I was shocked that they would basically take my pistol not even open the box to look at it and then flip it around and send it back to me. So I called customer service again. I asked them, hey, I just had a curiosity. I got the, the pistol back. There was no uh, documentation in the box. You mind telling me what was done? And they kind of reiterated the same thing, what was done. That uh, there was uh, some adjustments that had to be made, and uh, but the gun is functioning properly and it was tested and functioning properly. Okay, great. Now let me tell you how I know that that's not true. And I went through the whole thing with them. I went on a, I went on a rant because to me that that was the, one of the greatest insults you could do. You know, you don't want to you don't want to warranty the thing. That's fine. Um, but don't tell me that you actually took a look at it and, and determined that it wasn't under warranty. You basically lied to my face. You know, you pissed on me and told me it was, it was raining. I mean, that's basically what they did to me. So I spoke to the I spoke to the supervisor about it and they were defending um that the box was in fact open because they have to verify the serial numbers. The box was not opened. Um, they reiterated the documentation, uh, what the, what the uh, gunsmith evaluated. Well, I didn't get a copy of that. Why didn't I get a copy of that? Because they never opened the box to put the paper in. So that's one of the things that really, really frustrated me about them because this is this is a Beretta. This is supposed to be a premium line, a luxury line. As I said, this is this carries a six hundred and forty nine dollar MSRP. So uh, I'm having an argument with them about it because uh, this, is not, this is not customer service. This is not the way you treat your customers. And as you can see, I mean, as you saw, I am a Beretta fan. I love their pistols. I think they, they, they run beautifully. They're a functioning work of art. And I was really hoping that this would be kind of like a copy of what I have already. So that's really where I wanted to go with this. Uh, and the reason why I made this purchase, uh, because this really is a novelty gun. I mean, this is not something that somebody's going to pocket carry or anything like that. It's a 22, but it's it is. I mean, on the cool factor, it's it's awesome. But uh, you know, you'd like you'd like some quality control, some some fit and finish from the uh, manufacturer before it goes out. I understand people uh, make mistakes, and this shouldn't have left the factory, but it did. But then own up to it. Uh, don't tell me that 
it's not under warranty, that you, you looked at it, when in fact, none of that was even done. That's where, you know, I have the issue with them now. So my next step is to take it to the range and I plan to run the hell out of it. I'm gonna to run to see, you know, I've got eight different types of ammo here that I'm gonna put it through its paces. And we're gonna see how well this pistol performs. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight. If I run into any problems with, with any ammos, I'm gonna give Beretta hell. So anyway, that's just something I wanted to share.